Hey guys, welcome to the video. So today I wanted to shoot just a very casual sit down, catch up kind of video. I realized it's been a very, very long time since I've talked to you about what my festival schedule is. And now that we have a couple of events starting to look like they're gonna happen here, I figured it'd be a good time to catch up. I also wanna hear from you guys, so leave me a comment down below letting me know what is currently on your schedule for the fall and winter. With that being said, let's just dive right into things. So first and foremost, because EDC Las Vegas has officially been postponed to the fall, that was gonna be my first festival back. So right now, I really don't have anything in these next few months, which as much as it breaks my heart, it's been a very long time, so you know I can wait a little bit longer. But right now, it's looking like my first trip is gonna be a family vacation in August, which I'm really excited for. I do this trip every other year, and it will just be really, really nice to spend that time with family just at the beach. So that's gonna be coming up in August. So my first festival back right now is looking like ARC Music Festival, which is a brand new house and techno festival coming to Chicago on Labor Day weekend. I know if you guys follow me on my channel here, I was discussing going to Elements Lakewood Festival for the first time. However, that ARC lineup drop blew my mind and there was no way I could miss that. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be at ARC in Chicago. It'll be my first time going to Chicago and I'm so excited about it. So I hope to see some of you guys there. Okay, so then after that, this is where things start to really pick up. Like it's going to be quiet over the summer. I'm going to enjoy that time. Hopefully things will be more open in New Jersey. Also, New York City apparently is opening to 100% on July 1st. I don't even know what that means, but that's really, really exciting. So hopefully some local events might happen this summer, in which case I will be attending them. I bought tickets to Lane 8's Brightest Lights Tour, I believe it's called, and it was going to be in June 2020 or was it 2019. I don't even remember the years at this point. I bought the ticket in 2019 and they just announced that it will be taking place August 27th, 26th and 27th in Brooklyn. So I might be going to that date. I'm not sure if I can make it yet, but I might be going to lane eight this summer, which would be really, really exciting. Okay. So then after ARC, this is where things get crazy. So I am planning to attend Imagine Music Festival for the second time. I'm so excited about it. Once I saw that lineup drop, I was like, there's no way in hell I'm missing that festival. Um, it had the best vibes in 2019. It really surprised me. And this year it's going to be at a new location. So that's also really exciting. Um, for those of you who don't know, it is going to be at the location that Tomorrow World was at oh gosh maybe back in 2015 2014 that was it's in georgia so i will be going to that with my girl vibe with eight so that's exciting and then after that i will be having my bachelorette party in october in new orleans which is so friggin exciting i can't wait for that i have always wanted to go to nola and i knew that's where i wanted to have my bachelorette party right around spooky season my favorite time of year we're gonna do ghost tours and bar hopping and all that good stuff so we wanted to wait until hopefully NOLA would be a little bit more lively and open and hopefully cases will be down at that point. So I'm going to have a bachelorette party right after that a couple. I think it's two weeks after is EDC Las Vegas. So I will 100% be going to EDC Las Vegas in October. We're going to be tired, but it's going to be amazing and I can't wait. And then what, two or three weeks after that is EDC Orlando. This will be my second time attending EDC Orlando and it's such a fun festival. I had such a good time in 2019. Highly recommend this event. Um, I have a couple videos on it if you guys are interested and I also have vlogs. So cannot wait for that. I am staying at home base this time. I already locked in my room. So I hope to see some of you guys there. Um, home base is basically like a hotel takeover all the parties, after parties, pool parties, all kinds of activities happen at the Avanti Palms. And it's just a really great place to stay if you want to be surrounded by ravers. And all of that is included in your ticket and you get shuttled to the festival as well. So it's totally worth the money. So I will be staying at home base for EDC Orlando. And that is going to be such an amazing time. I feel like a lot of people are going to be at EDCO. I just have a feeling. And then right now, as far as shows, I did just see that Gorgon City released their new tour dates, which is Guys, I cannot even express, I can't even imagine how the artists feel, but to see them announcing tours again, like we're all screwed. My wallet is screwed. I'm, you're never going to see me again. I'm going to be living at the Brooklyn Mirage and Avant Gardner here in Brooklyn. Like nobody's business. It's going to be insane. So 
Gorgon City is going to be playing at Avant Gardner in Brooklyn, I believe on Saturday, November 6th. So I will 100% be at that show, like no questions asked love Gorgon City so that's just the first of very many so I will keep you in the loop if any of you are local to the New York New Jersey Connecticut area and you plan on attending any shows um, I will always keep you posted on what shows I'm going to I used to do vlogs when I would go to shows in the city so I can pop some of those up in here if you want to watch those but they were always so fun and I miss doing those like daily vlogs so I will definitely be bringing those back but as far as other events that is it for me Right now, that is it for me. That's like four different festivals, I'm pretty sure. Um, but there's just so many personal trips happening. I have friends' weddings. Like, it's a lot going on and I don't want to overextend myself. I also want to watch my budget because I did just quit my full-time job. So we're going to try and be careful about that. Um, and then, yeah, I get married in January 2022 big life event there and I go on my honeymoon right after my wedding and it's a very very nice expensive honeymoon so I can't wait for that and um yeah and so that's gonna be a really big trip so I am taking a break after EDC Orlando and then I have no idea what will be after that but I did do a video on my channel about all of the international events that I really want to attend at some point in my life I'll put a card up in here to check that out so so for me if the world is opening up I know international travel is very, very on the fence right now. They are moving a lot slower with vaccinations than the United States is. So I don't think travel to Europe is even an option right now. But if things do get better in certain countries, I really want to make 2022 the year of international travel. I want to do new events. I cannot wait to get out of here and go explore. So I'm really interested in doing SXM Festival in St. Martin. I just went to St. Martin this past March and it was beautiful. So I would really love to do that. Um, Awakenings has been on my radar for the past few months. That's right outside of Amsterdam as well as Mysteryland. So either Mysteryland or Awakenings, I'd be really, really interested in attending. What else? I have my Electric Forest ticket. So that was being, that was pushed to 2022 and that's typically in June. So that's a definite gonna happen. Um, and also I would say Tomorrowland is a bucket list festival for me, but I do not think I would make it in 2022 because depending on what happens with this year, if for whatever reason they can't, can't do it I just feel like it's gonna be very hard to get tickets in 2022 so maybe 23 or 24 we'll see but anyway that's like my whole next year of events right now I'm sure there will be plenty in between but uh we got a wedding to plan for and a whole bunch of other things in my personal life so ARC Music Festival Imagine Music Festival, EDC Las Vegas, and EDC Orlando are my big four right now so I hope to see some of you guys there I will for sure be doing meetups. Hopefully as things get better, everyone will feel a little bit more comfortable um, and safe. So yes, please leave me a comment down below if you plan on attending any of these events. Let me know what your schedule looks like. If you guys enjoyed this video, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you are new here. I have all types of videos for fans of dance music and music festivals and would love for you to come join the family. You can also connect with me at Emma Capotis on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And quick plug, I just dropped a new merch line. My Plur mini collection is officially up online. You can buy face masks, hoodies, tank tops, t-shirts, all that good stuff. So I'll leave a link down below in the description box if you want to check that out. Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.